Hi there once again welcome back to this channel and in this course of HTML and CSS this is lesson number 27 and in this lesson we are going to learn about CSS Z index and overflow so actually GS, uh, actually Z index is used to specify the stack order of an element when element is placed inside our document so elements can overlap with each other so one can come in front of the other one whereas we want it in the back of it so for doing such tasks we use z index so it stacks the elements uh, when they overlap uh, so which means that if you have a card and you are scrolling over your page and when you scroll and card reaches the nav bar it just uh, overlaps it and moves from above it which means that the hide it hides the nav bar whereas, whereas we don't want it we just want it to pass under it so for that we give it the z index property uh, let us see how do we use z index property so actually the main uh, logic behind it is that the element having larger z index would be above and the element having smaller z index will just go below the text right here in this example you can see this is heading which is the heading and its z index is greater than the z index of image which is minus one by uh, this heading for for example if this heading tag is having the z index of zero and the tree is having where is the image of tree is having the z index of minus one then it would just overlap the heading would overlap it so right here this is the example right here so let us see its example inside our IDE because practical is important. So these are all our files that we used in our previous lessons. These are all practical files and if you want them, you can get them in the description of each video. So this is lesson number 27 and this is about CSS Z index. Sorry, I didn't give sorry I didn't give it the extension and then I would give it the boilerplate and Z index okay now inside this Z index I'm going to create an image and give it the source of uh, source from our asset uh, which I would give uh, to this uh, text image.png for example I use this image these are all images that we used in our previous videos we don't need this alt tag uh, we are because using, using this image tag for example right here only so right here I would create a heading this is heading tag and inside our IDE uh, inside our head tag we are going to create a style tag which is in page or internal style and in this style I am going to give this image a position of uh, position fixed for example i am just using this for example uh, top zero left zero if you don't know about these positions that how do we give these positions and what are different positions then you can switch to our previous video we have discussed about all the um, possible positions inside that video so for this h1 also i am going to give it the position fix so that they may overlap each other to show you the example of z index and for top i am also giving it zero and from left i am also giving it zero so right inside right here i would go live and let us see what is the layout right now so right now you can see the heading is in front and the Google picture is in back but if I override this default setting and give this Z H1 the Z index of uh, minus one uh, which is of image so affect it so how does it affect it actually the Z index of this image is now bigger than the Z index of that particular heading and then heading that heading is now behind this image because its Z index is smaller so if i make its z index one it would come in front of it so this was the example of z index whereas the next topic is overflow 
so overflow property actually controls what would happen if our text is just uh, going out of the box or uh, the div or the element we are using so it controls it so there are different overflow values which are visible hidden scroll auto by default it is set to visible in visible there is no text clipped because uh, uh, whereas all the text which is overflowing from our div is just visible to us and it isn't hidden whereas inside hidden when we provide hidden as a value of overflow property it hides the text which or the elements or the um, childs of an element uh, which are just overflowing or passing out of the boundary of that element whereas in scroll it provides us a scroll bar so that we may see the text which is not visible and inside auto it provides us scrolls uh, scroll bars but uh, the difference is that in scroll type um, value the both of the scrolls are given scroll bars are given to us uh, whereas even if uh, one is not needed but in our autos the scroll bar is just given when it is needed so let us see its example and you would get a better understanding about these properties so important note is that uh, overflow property of only work for block elements with a specific height so if you don't know that uh, what is, uh, is block element or what are different block elements you can switch to our previous videos we have discussed in discussed it right there so another note right here is that in mac operating systems scroll bars are hidden by default and only shown when being used even though overflow scroll is set so right here the first one is visible overflow which means the overflows value is visible it is set by default so let us see its example right here inside the same file i am going to create a text a big text that could not fit into a small div and in this div i am going to give it a style and give it a height of uh, maybe 100 pixels only so right inside our browser uh, let us remove the style of this h1 and image because they are overlapping over our uh, text so right as you can see this is our div we are not able to see that uh, whether our uh, text is uh, outside or not so we should give it a background color so I would give it a background color of orange and right here you can see this is the orange section is our div whereas all the text outside it is an overflow of this div so this is by default uh, hidden uh, sorry visible is by default the value of overflow property and if I explicitly give it the overflow of visible it won't affect its layout whereas the second property is the hidden overflow which means it would hide uh, the text which is outside the uh, or overflowing overflowing the div so for example if i give it overflow hidden you can see the text that was outside it and overflowing has hidden or it was clipped out of it so the next property is the scroll overflow so in scroll overflow we get scroll bars but we get scroll bars on both sides even if we don't need it for vertical or horizontal side so let us give it the overflow of scroll let us comment it and give another overflow overflow scroll so i am commenting it so that it may be recorded for you you can get these files the links would be in description all the study materials for each lesson is present there in description so right here i have given it the overflow scroll uh, overflow to scroll so it is giving us a scroll bar whereas you can see in our horizontal uh, position of the uh, tag we are also getting a scroll bar whereas we don't need it now so the next property or the next value is auto so in this auto scroll bar is given to us like the previous tag previous value but it is just given when it is necessary not in unless not in unnecessary condition so if i uh, comment it and give it overflow auto then you can see it has just given it the scroll bar for vertical scroll whereas it did, did not give it the uh, horizontal scroll bar because it isn't needed now so the next one uh, after uh, all these properties we also get overflow x and overflow y this overflow property just works for both x and y whereas overflow x or y just 
work for specific axis if i write here uh, comment it and write overflow x to hidden which is by default hidden so it means the overflow x is hidden now whereas overflow y if i give overflow y to scroll it is giving it a scroll but as you can see if i toggle these properties and give overflow y the property of hidden and overflow x the property of scroll you can see that uh, bar has just shifted towards the horizontal side because we have toggled it between both of these axes so that's it for this video i hope you liked this lesson if you did then press the thumbs up button thank you for watching this video thank you goodbye